Hey guys, Mike here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we repair some concrete using Rapid Sets Concrete Mix. So we got this entryway kind of wheelchair ramp we're doing. Now, the whole project here really needs to be resurfaced, but these people only wanted me to do the, the worst parts here first, and then next year we're going to do the rest of it. So we had the top part, which was that entryway, then the beginning of this wheelchair ramp right here, there was a couple spots that really need some repair bad before they can start using it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to saw some straight lines here so when we go to repair the concrete, we'll have a nice straight... Hey guys, I just want to pause for a second and say, if you want to learn how to pour and finish concrete like we do, also do concrete repairs like this. This video is being brought to you by The Concrete Underground. So you can check it out, the link is in the description below. Line to match back into, and we're getting back into the good part of the concrete too, so we wanna get rid of all that broken, deteriorated, kinda of rotten concrete. Now someone else has already tried to patch some of this in, in the past, it wasn't us, I don't know who did it, but they used some type of patch material that didn't last very good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break out all that stuff, and then like I said, get back into the good concrete, what at least the solid concrete, and then use the green bag there from Rapid Set, the, the fast setting concrete mix to, to fix all this. And you know, make sure you stay to the end because we're gonna put a, a waterproof seal on it too. It's gonna make it look like brand new. You guys aren't gonna believe what this looks like when we're all done. First of all, you want to get into the good stuff, so you want to remove all that bad concrete, anything that's rotten, and then when you try to match back into something like we are here, you know, it's much easier to match back into a, a nice straight saw cut line. So instead of trying to feather it in to a jagged type of broken concrete, the straighter the lines the better. So that's what we did here, we cut those lines out. We got it all cleaned out. And now what we're doing is there's the there's the green bag from Rapid Set. This is their concrete mix. So this has a small aggregate in it, about a 3 8 pea stone aggregate. This stuff sets really fast. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using the set control. So this this powder we're putting in here, Rapid Set sells this too. It slows the set time down just a little bit, so it gives you a little bit more working time. You know one of these bags we're gonna mix two on this first batch but when you mix one of these bags you only have a couple minutes to work with it and get it down before it sets up enough so it's really not workable and uh, the set control bag gives you probably double the working time so you know you might go from two three four minutes to, to five six seven or eight minutes in working time before it sets up so much that you just can't work with it anymore so we started out using this blue bin, but we ended up cracking it. So we had to go down to just five gallon buckets. Instead of mixing two bags at a time, we're gonna just finish by mixing one bag at a time. Now we got down to some solid concrete. So we got the repairs are anywhere from an inch and a half to about three inches thick. And we did drill and pin in some Tapcon screws here and there. But we're pretty much just repairing back with the with the concrete mix here. This, you know, this concrete entry, the patio, the stairs, the ramp, it's all well over 30 some odd years old. It it could probably use just a, a demo and a redo, but they didn't want to spend that kind of money. And they do use this place a lot. It's like an elk's lodge. So they couldn't use that wheelchair ramp with the concrete broken like that. And we're, we're late in the season, it's late in the fall right now, so they just wanted to get it back to where it's useful. So we're doing the best kind of repair we thought we could do, um, saving them a bunch of money, and at least getting it back to where they can use it again. You can see that, that section right there needs to be repaired too. They want us to come back and fix that piece too, and then they want us to fix all the stairs. So there's a lot to do here to get it pretty decent. So we're going one bag at a time, one, one little bag of set control in each bag. 
Uh, Darren and Luca doing the mix in to speed that up. And then I'm leveling it out with my mag and just getting it magged as best I can. We, I want to match into both those sides really, really good because you can see I got my hand trowel over there to the left. I'm hand troweling this really soon after I get it mag floated because it's, it is setting up pretty fast. So you want to get a nice, nice smooth finish on it as quick as you can. You just don't want to leave it and just keep going and going. And as you saw, we got quite a bit to do to repair here. So I'm going to mag this out and then give it just a, a minute and then go right back over it with the hand trowel. And then once you get it hand troweled nice and smooth, then you can give it a few more minutes and, and before you hand trowel it again. Luckily, we're not right out in the direct sun here and we're not doing this in the, in the heat of the summer. You know, that would have made a big difference on set time. So you can see we got sweatshirts on, so it was a little bit cool here when we're doing it. But I'm going right back over it with my hand trowel, getting it nice and smooth. Um, when we put it in, you can see it's pretty workable when you put it in. It's a good workable mix. And it's pretty creamy too. It's got some good paste to it when you go over it with the mag a few times. We also use the, you can see we got the brown, the mortar mix. We got the blue bag, the cement all. The blue bag doesn't have any aggregate in it. The brown bag has like a sand type of aggregate in it. So it's, it doesn't have rocks in it, but it's kind of a little sandier than the blue bag. So depending on how thick your patch is, you know, you can use any of those. The thinner the patch, you go with the blue bag. So we're going to get those two spots finished off there. Luke's floating them out. And you can see I got my hand trowel right, right with me. I'm hand troweling right after he is. Um, Luke's going to get that finished hand trowel. Then we're going to get an edge on that. We'll put a, a little edge on it and try to match into the rest of it. And then we're going to get this sealed up and I'll show you what it looks like after we sealed it. But that's the basic process. You know, if you're going to use this rapid set mix, it doesn't matter. All these bags, the green one, the blue one, or the brown one, they all set really fast. So if you're doing something yourself, then you got to do it in small sections. If, uh, if you can get somebody to help, you know, to, to at least do the mixing for you, then that's what you want to do. So, again, if you remember, this is what it looked like before we started. It had a lot of busted pieces. Somebody had already tried to, to repair a bunch of it already. It was in pretty rough shape. You can see that concrete's pretty worn because it's so old. And there's the two other spots there that were just all broken up and previously patched. And this is what it looks like when we got done. Well, it looks like a brand new piece of concrete. We resurfaced this. We sealed it up with a concrete waterproofing paint. And I'll have, I'll show you what that is at the end of the video here. I'll have a video pop up to show you the type of paint we used and what we, we used it on concrete patios too. But... That's what the repair ended up looking like. And eventually we'll go over this whole thing with that. And you won't even be able to really tell it's in this bad of shape. But thanks for watching, guys. Come on back. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe. Hit the like button if you like. And we'll see you on the next one.